Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so example six here. So at this point, you're also familiar with the difference quotient, and this time we're dealing with the function f of x equals root x. So then f of x plus h will be root x plus h, and naturally then f of x plus h minus f of x will be this here. Now, let me remind you that if you have a complex number a plus bi, then a minus bi is called its conjugate. And so then if you're given a minus bi, then a plus bi is a conjugate. And just like that, if you have the square root of something minus the square root of something else, then the square root of something plus the square root of something else is the conjugate. And uh, just like how uh, multiplying conjugates in uh, complex numbers uh, gives us nice results, multiplying uh, conjugates when you have square roots uh, also gives nice results. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and write it as a fraction by writing a denominator of 1 to start. And then we're going to take this fraction and multiply top and bottom by the conjugate of uh, root x plus h minus root x, which will be root x plus h plus root x. That's a conjugate, yeah? Okay, so we do that and we get this. Now, the reason why we like multiplying by the conjugate each time, and uh, regardless of the situation, is because... Uh, we get a difference of square situation. We've got a minus b times a plus b. Now, you've probably heard me say this many times before already, but I love, love, love the difference of squares. And I already have a video on it, which I'll try to remember to link below this video. But the result of multiplying a minus b and a plus b is a squared minus b squared which is really nice in this situation because that means the square roots disappear. So in the numerator, a squared minus b squared, where a is root x plus h and b is root x, uh, will lead us to, so this is a squared minus b squared. So uh, this is a squared, uh, will be just x plus h, that's right there. And then minus b, uh, which is root x squared, will be just x. And so again, by multiplying a minus b times a plus b, the grand result of this multiplication in the numerator is a squared minus b squared. But, you know, to explain a squared minus b squared, I had to use only this part, right? Okay, anyway, anyway, uh, you get it, you get it. Uh, and then in the denominator is this, right? Okay, so at this point, uh, we're getting a nice expression for f of x plus h minus f of x, uh, which is right here. And obviously, the numerator simplifies really nicely. And so we just have an h in the numerator. Uh, and therefore, f of x plus h minus f of x is simply this. And all we have left to do is divide it by h, and then we will have our, our difference quotient, and then we just have to simplify that. So our difference quotient is taking this, which is f of x plus h minus f of x right here, and which is right here, and then dividing it by h, right? Okay, cool. And then in your next step, you can simplify this a little bit more and write that. Um, and so that's that.